Welcome back guys, this is Raven's Lead and we're back and playing Tales of Graces F. Sorry I haven't been on for a long time, I've been busy with other stuff, but hey, what can you do? Let's Firstly, get let's get into the first place. battle. As you already know, these monsters are weak against first arts, or beta arts, if you want to call it that way. And I'm just here messing around, kicking back, trying to dodge and slash him away. And if you've already seen my child arc, you're not doing so bad there yourself, Asbel. As I was saying, if you've seen my child arc, the first part of my LP, I didn't put any commentary because the um, explanation from the game really explains how it goes, so I didn't bother putting any commentary for the first part. But but now since I decided to put commentary, here I am. Let's get also, a brief update. I am also planning to invite a friend over to help me coordinate this LP. But right now, he's kind of busy with other stuff, so it's just gonna be me for the day for a few videos. If he has less time to do or is free, probably in the next few videos, I will be inviting him to join me. But as for now, it's just me playing as Asbo or probably Mer Malik, but being seriously though, I don't regularly use Malik because I am more a melee person, so I like to get right into the front of things, flashing away, dodging, and all that fun stuff. And two of them get owned pretty easily since they have Malik and me. But of course, of course, it's early in the game, things are a little easy, but trust me, this game gets a little harder later on if you're not prepared. I learned that the hard way in my first playthrough of this game. Let's see, should I put it here? Yeah, let's put it here so I can learn that alpha art. So once that's done, I'll move it to the next title. And over here, we got some life bottles. That's a plus. Those who doesn't know or play Tales games, life bottles will bring it back to life. So there's something we don't know about. Right, let's dodge with the right. Get the elephant. Oh yeah, in this game, instead of having like a small bar to indicate your uh, you mystic your arts when you can activate them. In this game, you get Elf Break. What that means is you go in this um, certain state that allows you to do infinite amount of command points or CC. Same goes with your ba uh, beta arts. That's at the same time when you're in the Elf Burst or Elf Rise, if you want to pr pronounce it that way. As I mentioned, you have infinite command points, same with your CC, and half of and beta heart. At the same moment, if you have your mystic gauge, or mystic art at that, that point, you can activate it after a certain combo. But the thing is, when you're in Elf Rise, you can't act activate your mystic art at the same time, like as instant. You have to do at least an alpha or beta art to trigger it. Then you can be able to form your mystic art right after Let's that. Get this underway. Okay, now we got some more plants. One down. Hmm? And Malik finished off the last away? one, as always. Malik is, um, I don't know how to describe his fighting style. He was like a sword, it's like a boomerang, and he was performs spell arts. For me, I consider Malik is a spam user. He's like, he's like a, a warlock, if you want to take it like that, but he uses a, a boomerang sword for some reason. I don't know how that works in battle-wise, but well, oh well, I don't know how to explain that. And gives you other gauge tips. I'm not bothered to read this, but you can read it or stop the video to read the small box pop-ups once in a while. Move over here, we get an iron tunic. Best to equip this right now since it gives slightly more stats. I think it gives you um, evade and cryos defense. Cryos defense is like your beta art moves, so if you get more defense with the if your opponents use it on yourself. On. Yes, sir? These are merino flowers. Combine them with water of absolution, and you have the raw ingredients for a holy bottle. Wait here a minute. I've studied for seven years, and I still didn't know that. Am I really ready 
to become a knight? What's on your mind? Nothing, sir. It's just you're so knowledgeable about everything, and it makes me doubt myself. Knowledge for its own sake is meaningless, but this is information that can help you to protect yourself and others when you become a knight. Remember it. Sir. Sure thing, Malik, and let's go to the turtles for more dualizing. Yay. Okay, first off, charge that. Back to dualizing. Two weapons, but I have nothing except a defense shard four. So put that on the iron tunic. Crystal Changeo, we got a defense boss. Boof, um, defense boots on my armor. So my defense will be a slightly better from the iron guard, or letter guard if I pronounce it right. Damn it. Anyway, let's go down here and get this chest right here, but since I have a full in apple gel, I'm decided not to take it. Oh well. Game on! Alright, more plants! Destroy! I'm not done yet! Wow, that lasts like six seconds. Huh. And tells you about the shards and um, more items you get depending on the difficulty since I'm doing it on moderate. So I have more chance of getting more items, but besides that, let's push that photo over there. That'll be in play later after we finish what we need to do in this dungeon flash hmm? field. Carried away? And we got a mine shard, yes. Those are be useful later on once I get back to the turtle or the town, but I think somewhere after we're done here, I'll we'll find a turtle and do some more dualizing on my own here. Got a chip claw, and let's go here and find the soldiers we need to talk to. Captain Malik, it's an honor to have you here, sir. What have you learned? Early reports on the missing villagers appear to be true, but we found no trace of them. It looks like there was a fire. So it does. A bad one from the state of things. Any connection between the fire and the missing villagers? We're looking into that right now. If you could lend a hand, it would be much appreciated. You heard them, Asbel. Yes, sir. Is this the cadet we've been hearing about, Captain Malik? This is Asbel Lant. Today is his first field mission. It's an honor to meet you. Alright, let's get started. First, we'll split up and take a look around the village. If you find anything, let me know ASAP. Yes, sir. Alrighty then, since we're supposed to investigate this village, let's go over here and then... What's that? I shouldn't call the captain until I know where that noise is coming from. Now, where did it go? And that mystery animal in the background. Hmm, what could that be? Looky here, what have you found? Was uh, that a dog? Or maybe a wolf? It looked like a wolf to me, but heck, I have no idea what that thing is. Damn! What the hell is this? We will survive! Fight! And we got the first fight with this unknown wolf type monster. Why can't I hurt it? I'm not about to lose here. Huh? It worked! Alright! And we got our first new art Lightning Blade, if I press it. No, Lightning Strike, my bad. Alright, since this monster is weak against lightning and beta arts, it will be wise to keep using them, but of course, I'll try to switch them off with um, apple arts at the same time. Okay. That hurt. Okay, die! What? 
Okay, good thing you don't look dead. God, he's almost dead. Die already. That hurt. Okay. And that bit of a somehow. And I got a pack shard and a Rebra? Randa? If I pronounce it right. It's one of those um, attribute items you can boost, your, boost up your character's stats, but I'll get much of that I later on. Beat him. But what was that light from my hand? What is this thing? Did you slay this beast? Yes, sir. It attacked without warning, so I defended myself. Captain, do you think this creature is responsible for the missing villagers? It's certainly possible. I found evidence of wild animal attacks while I was exploring the village. This thing could have been part of a larger group. But we'll need more info to be sure. You have our gratitude, Captain. I think we can take it the rest of the way. Understood. Asbel, we're done here. Thank you for your assistance, Asbel Lant. Of course, sir. I'm glad I was able to help. Indeed. Your efforts may have unlocked the core of this little mystery. Captain Malik has chosen well. I look forward to having you in our ranks. Now, now, this boy is no knight. Not yet, anyway. Ah, forgive me, sir. You're a lucky man to be trained by the captain himself. Do not waste the opportunity. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the advice. This ends your first field mission. Let's be on our way back to the capital. And with our first monster defeated, let's make our way back to the capital. Yay! But save point, skit. All right, we'll head back the way we came. You take the lead. Uh, yes, sir. Asbel, I was glad for an opportunity to see your true prowess, but I must admit I was surprised at what I witnessed. Uh, surprised, sir? That monster was ready to destroy you, but then you suddenly. Well, I'm... I'm not sure what you did. Why have you kept this ability hidden? It's nothing I've tried to hide, Captain. In truth, I'm not sure how I beat the thing. You could be ready for real action now. I might even have to challenge you to spar one of these days. Did the Captain just... praise me? Yes, he just did, Asphal. He just praised you for being that awesome. Alright, let's save right here real quick. Alright, let's move back down and if you go if you guys remember me pushing that boulder and let's get back to where that boulder was. One nifty thing about that is that once you push this boulder, you can just jump across and get to the entrance a lot faster. If you didn't do that, you had to take the long way around and I'm not gonna do that. It's just plain ridiculous just walking all the way back that way, but it's a short way, but I better pass this shortcut a lot easier and less time consuming on the video. Plus, 
I can just fight enemies on the way back to Verona, so it doesn't really matter which way you choose to go, so... Uh, yeah. Anyway, back to, to fly, uh, slashing the all these creatures to bits, and... Malik has learned Photon Burst title. And more tips, I'm not gonna read those, bother, but you can pause the video, read them if you want. And right, we're outside in another cutscene with Malik. I think the mission went well, but how are you feeling? I feel great, sir. In fact, I'd like to take the lead until we return to the academy. It's good to see such motivation. But before you can lead, you'll need this map. Thank you, Captain Malik. The road leads straight there, so I doubt you'll get lost. But it's good to have just in case. Now be aware of yourself, and don't let your guard down until we reach Verona. The monsters on this road have been fierce lately. Yes, sir. And finally we got the world map. With this, you can find almost anything, but... If you press the R3 button, you get, get the, the small zoom up way. on the map, so it's where you need to go, but compared to other maps and other Tales themes, this one is like a really small map, because compared to Tales of Vesperia, that's you like a big overworld map, basics. this is just like a small linear direction where you want to go, like going where the towns are, but I'm getting off track on the subject about the map. Plus, as you already noticed, the Ellis Mixer just got upgraded. Now we have more items to play But I won't be bothered picking on that until later in the game. Not bad, don't you think? More abilities learned, but no, no new titles yet. Oh well. Back to the turtles. Charge Mixer. Utilizing. Attack there. All right. And uh, mind charge for him. Yes, come again. This area hasn't changed much either. If you don't mind me asking, Captain, who were those knights back in Orlick? Former students. I can tell they really trust and admire you. Forgive me for asking, sir, but why did you become an instructor? Surely you'd see more action if you served in the field. The other knights were more capable. But Captain, you're an exceptional knight. I can't imagine anyone being better than you. Flattery will get you everywhere, Asbel. But let's just say the others have a certain something I don't. Hmm. I wonder if I have that certain something to become a knight. <laughs> right, getting back on track. Get an apple. Yay, more things to do lies. Okay. And more chicks to murderize. Gotcha. No one can stand before my blade. And let's go down right here for more wood items to dualize. And what else we got here? Some fur and a pasta. Nice. I'm gonna use those for dualizing later on as well. Oh yeah, a small little tip in this game: don't sell any of your gear earlier in the game. You'll need those for later on, so don't sell a single item. Let's rest here for a bit. Yes, sir. Seeing country like this makes you realize just how blessed Windor truly is. Remind me, Asbel, when did you enter the Knight Academy? It's been almost seven years now, sir. <laughs> it all passes so quickly. It's been my honor to learn from you during this time, Captain. You're the son of a lord, yes? Will you ever return home and reclaim the family name? Well... I ask because I'm ready to recommend you as a full-fledged knight. Uh, really? 
In truth, my word is a mere formality. If the life of a knight is your wish, your acceptance is almost certain. You're young yet and still lack experience, but this mission has convinced me that you're ready enough to take the next step. Thank you, sir. But this is not a decision to be made in haste, Asvel. Perhaps you should consult with your parents first. That won't be necessary, Captain. I am prepared to devote my life to the Knights. Very well. If that is your wish. It is, sir. Finally! My lifelong dream is about to come true! When we get back, we'll make a little detour to mark the occasion. I assume you're familiar with tactics, right? It's your favorite pub, sir. Even a knight needs to unwind now and again. Wouldn't you agree? Thank you, Captain. I must say, Windor is such a beautiful country. But unfortunately, the wars never end. Where did that come from? When I was young and naive, I came here with a group of very close friends. One of them stood right here and told me all about how he wanted to create a world without conflict. Huh. Back then, I was just a kid with my head in the clouds. At that moment, I believed I actually had the power to make his dream come true. That's what everyone thinks when they're young. But something happened soon afterward. Something that made me realize what a pathetic child I actually was. I see. And I assume that's when you decided to enlist in the Knight Academy. Yes, sir. With that in mind, Aspo get a chance to be a knight. Yay! But firstly, we have to make our way back to town to visit the pub tactics. But firstly, let's go in this cottage for more item looting. And we just we got some pine sheets and let's get out of here. As I was saying earlier, don't sell any of your gear. Except when I really need to, so don't bother selling because if you do, you're gonna have a harder time gaining items you might have stolen for in-game quests or in the quest. I'll be getting into a lot of those later in the game as well. So worry about it as much. Alright, so with that in mind. I'll just be making my way down this road until I reach the save point and save and we'll call the video. So this is Raven's Lee. Mm -hmm. Did we get hope, you enjoy, hope you guys enjoy this LP run of Tales of Graces. And hopefully I'll see you again in part and later parts of the game. So hope you enjoy the rest of the game and see you then. Bye guys. See you around. Uh, see you next time, I mean. Sandguard. Okay, slow down! Got the size! We won't fail! Let's get this underway. <laughs> Okay, slash! Die! Steering heat! Eat this! Not yet! Eat your It will take more than that to stand in our way.